All right, all right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. This is Bear Fox, and today you guys are here because your CS:GO isn't working, and that's why I am here to help you guys get better FPS, fix your lagging, stuttering, and network issues with CS:GO. So watch this video till the end. Let's begin. I am keeping this video very short and simple for you guys so uh, first things first make a restore point of your PC because you're gonna need it sometime so just simply search for create a restore point and then um, once this screen opens up you need to scroll down and look for a drive it says system over here then click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled once you're done with that simply click on ok create and name it csgo or any name that you can remember and then click on create I highly recommend you guys do not skip this step because it's really important and once it's done you can simply close it now this will help you guys make an image of your system that you can restore anytime if anything goes wrong so if you are a CS enthusiast then gcskins.gg might be the best free stuff app for you. GC Skins is a heaven for gamers who play CS. You can safely earn points and buy new skins for your game. The best part of this app is that you can earn points by simple tasks like watching videos and downloading apps and getting the skin absolutely free. GC Skin is a trusted app where you can earn points of the free cases and daily spins as well. They also have 24-7 support if you have any other issues. Use code BEARFOXYT while signing up and get free 20 points in the app. Links in the description below. Alright, next thing that you have to do is if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, simply right click at your screen and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Then open it up and do the following thing. So once it opens up, you have to locate the second option which is manage 3D settings and in here scroll down until you find the low latency mode. Simply from off go to on. Do not go to on plus ultra or ultra because in many PCs this may result in crashing of your game. So make sure to enable low latency mode to on. Simply click on apply. This will help you guys in all of the other games where you require FPS such as Fortnite, uh, Blood Hunt and many other games. This is really useful so it's a, it's a must have setting. Once you're done with the control panel, uh, the next thing that you have to do is delete temporary files. And for that simply press your windows and R key together and then search for temp. Now, once the temp folder opens up, simply press Ctrl A, Shift Delete and permanently delete all those items. Similarly, do the step again, but this time it's percentage temp percentage. And in here you'll have a bunch of files. Simply do the same, but this time you won't be able to delete many files. So simply click on this, this for all current items and then simply click on skip. These are the files which are currently being used by your computer, so you cannot delete them basically. Now once you are done with this, I highly recommend you guys to get the CSGO FPS from the link in the description below. This will seriously help you guys because it has many options and many hard settings that you guys cannot do it without the FPS pack. So I highly recommend you guys to get this FPS pack from the link in the description below. Simply download and extract it and you will find in three folders. The first one is for settings configuration and for this you have to go to the directories of CSGO and for that that, simply open up your steam select your CSGO right click on it and then go to properties then from properties go to local files and then go to browse and now once you are in the install folder of CSGO simply locate the second folder or any folder which says CSGO in the name with it and then you will find another folder which have CFG in it so simply take both of these files over here paste it in and then replace these files in the destination and this will help you guys get better fps right with the start then you can simply close this folder and then go back to the fps pack now the second thing is the launch options and in this file you will find a big string of the launch option simply copy it and then go back to steam right click on the game go to properties and then make sure to paste all of this in the launch option then close this file minimize steam and then go back to the fps pack folder and then go to power plan and another thing that you have to copy and then go and open cmd run it as administrator all right once cmd opens up simply paste this thing press enter and that will make a ultimate performance power plan in your pc now i already have it so just go to control panel and then go and search for power options once you are in power options, 
make sure to select ultimate performance plan over here and then close the power option as well as the fps pack and once you are done with all of these three things in the fps pack you are done with it so simply close it and last for network issues if you are getting high ping latency struggles then exit lag is the go for you now exit lag is pros choice to get rid of network issues related to ping related to latency related to spikes and any other thing so if you have an unstable or low latency connection then i highly recommend you guys to get exit lag downloading exit lag is really simple first thing you have to do is go to the link in the description below and then you will be going to the uh, exit lags official website simply click on free three days trial and then download it without any credit card information now once you have downloaded exit lag simply search csgo or counter-strike global offensive and then simply select the game then for the region you can select your own region for me it's going to be india mumbai 01 so there you go and that's the estimated ping which i am going to get in the game now simply click on use my country routes first because uh, since we have our servers in india so i can use the indian routes or my country first simply click on apply routes and then you guys can see csgo is added in my recent list also there are many tools in exit lag itself so once you are in the tools section simply locate to the fps boost and then enable the third fourth last option and you can also disable core parking but you have to restart your pc once once you are done with all of this simply minimize exit lag let it run in the background all right so exit lag is free to use for three days but after that you have to get a subscription just like any other app exit lag offers you monthly semi-annually and quarterly subscription and you guys can pay it via credit card paypal and other payments method as well but if these prices are too high for you then you can use code bearfox20 to save instant 20 percent on your first purchase so make sure to choose your plan wisely lastly you have to open up your game csgo and you have to follow the best in-game settings for best performance and for that simply go to the settings menu over here and then locate to video now in the video section you have to scroll down and you have to find just two things only two things that will make big big difference that is global shadow quality you have to make sure that you put it to low and then you have to scroll down until you find multi-core rendering so i don't know if this option is available for you but if you find it within your video settings then i highly recommend you guys to make to put it on enabled so multi-core rendering is a basic concept where all of your cores are togetherly used for rendering a game or any graphics so this will definitely help you guys because this will because this will equivalently share the load of the game on all your cores and this will definitely allow you guys to get better fps also another uh, really important setting for higher fps is that uh, you guys can see uh, the shader detail you guys can go for low as well as effect detail go for low texture streaming disable it model texture detail go for low just make sure to copy all of these settings because it's gonna help you guys a lot now boost player contrast i highly recommend you guys to keep it enabled so that you can uh, differentiate between players and the environment because some things might blend for multi-sampling and lacing mode i highly recommend you guys to keep it none or 2x msaa it doesn't really matter much for fxaa and lacing keep it disabled texture filtering mode i highly recommend you guys to go with bilinear because it's gonna make your game a little blocky but then you'll get better fps also motion blur should be disabled and all of these things should le be left to the default ones now if you guys are running a seriously low end pc like a pc that cannot run anything then resolution or aspect ratio will come into the play for widescreen you can go with normal 4 is to 3 and for resolution go down to 720 or 800 by 650 600 these two resolutions are best to run csgo on the maximum fps possible now i won't do the changes because my game is already running on its best so with all that said we have come to an end of this video i hope this video might have helped you out and if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button since it really helps me out growing my channel and also it encourages me to make more awesome guides like this for you guys also a big update gta5 guide is coming out soon so make sure to bat an eye on it subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell for more notifications and we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching Verifox and peace out